We work to work. You need to work. What's your name? You know the life was all the dish and cattle in the symptom. Y'all need to cuss me out. Y'all really do. Okay, listen, it's Monday at three o'clock. It's literally 2.58. I just got back from the gym. Do y'all remember the last time in the last vlog, I was like, oh, it's Sunday, which was yesterday. We're gonna do a Sunday reset. We didn't do nothing. We had a Sunday fun day. <laughs> and I didn't vlog anything because I couldn't, but I had a great Sunday. Y'all, and getting no vlog on Monday. By the time you see this, you probably realize you didn't. I got so much to do because everything I was supposed to do yesterday, I didn't do none of it. I was outside. So, I gotta do it today. It's three o'clock too, mind you. So we, the, the day is over with. Look at the house. I.E. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Clutter. Mm-mm. A mess. So, I basically have to do my reset or whatever. I probably won't because my bathroom needs to be clean. It's always the kitchen and the bathroom when I say I need a reset. I promise you. Um, but the kitchen, I can't focus because I told y'all that's basically the whole apartment. Yeah, I got to get in here. I have to get these samples on and figure out what I'm going to do to submit this order tonight. So, I can go ahead and get an invoice so that we can have merchandise next month and a lot of it. What else? Oh, I need to get in my emails. I'm sure there's something else I need to do when they thought of it. Oh, I was supposed to edit y'all, but like I said, I don't think that's going to happen. I'm more concerned about cleaning up so that I have a clear, free space to focus and do stuff the rest of the week. And also, what else do I need to do and focus on? I forgot that quick. Oh, oh the, the merchandise, the orders. Highest, it needs my attention. Then I have some orders. I'm going to go ahead and pack and get them out because they've been sitting for a little minute. And I really try not to have nothing sitting longer than a week. But I fall short, of course. So, actually, I'm trying to prop y'all because I do want to tell y'all a little bit about yesterday because, girl, the tea is hot. I had an amazing workout today. I feel like this was one of the best workouts I've had in a very long time. Probably the best workout I've had at least this month. And we're literally two weeks in. Two weeks. I'm halfway done with October. And y'all, it's really like I love the... I just feel like I do want to post more. I don't know how I'm going to handle that. I cannot, of course, not tell y'all I'm going to post every day. But I like it because I like interacting with y'all. And I like the comments. And, like, I'm having a good time. It really ain't the vlogging as much as it's the editing. The me having to sit in the computer and edit every day on top of every other thing I'm supposed to do that day be too much. So, like, today... I'm vlogging, I'm talking, I'm about to vlog some more, but me having to sit down and edit the other vlog from whenever on top of me doing all the other stuff is what it is. It really ain't the vlogging because I'm just showing you what I was going to be doing anyway and then I'm having a little commentary on the camera, right? Right. Okay. Y'all, I um, went out to eat and all of this, this and that. I was hanging out. I want to tell y'all so bad about this because it's not nothing new. That's all I'm going to say about that, but let me shut up because I will get on here and talk too much. I went to my dad's house with a guy friend, right? Went to my dad's house. My dad and this person really get along. It's this, this, and this, that. But that's not the tea. The tea is, y'all. So, oh my God. I hate to get into this, but I really want to tell y'all because it's like, because it was, it was a thing. If you know, you know about my little fall. It ain't a little nothing, girl. The fallout with me and my daddy's side of the family. If you know, you know. And it's, Three major players here. We have two cousins, one cousin in which is ex was extremely close to me, like it's my first cousin. We was like this, mm, we'll be the one closest to you. And then the ex-husband. I don't want to tell all that. Like I said, if you know, you know. I'm sorry if you knew and you don't know. Um, you'll probably read the comments. If y'all want to describe it in the comments for people to catch up, be my guest. Because I really hate talking about it because it's so old and it's so ridiculous but again for the people that have been here i want to give y'all an update but for the people who haven't let me just make it short and simple i have like two cousins i really don't talk to i don't want to say i don't talk to my dad's side of the family like that because it ain't like a thing with all of them but something big happened to where i'm kind of side eyeing most of them and there's two people i'm not effing with like i don't i don't mess with you and one of them was the cousin that I was like really close to. He's a guy. We grew up like brother and sister. And then he basically, long story short, just betrayed me some backstabbing shit. Did nothing to this man ever in life. Don't know why he was involved with this other mess, but whatever, right? 
long story short, I had not seen him in five years. Like, I've been able to avoid him completely, and I love that for me. It just always works out that way. I he, like he lived. I don't actually. I thought he had moved. I was hoping and praying that he did. He did at one point, then came back, and I thought he had moved again. But whatever. He came to my dad's house yesterday. Now, usually when he come to my dad's house, by the grace of God, I always miss him. And my stepmom be like, "Oh, he just left." Blah blah blah. Thank you, Jesus. Always miss this man. My niece had her graduation from Tuskegee, and he was there. And I thought I was gonna have to just put up with it. And I don't want to say by the grace of God it is, but. My stepdad had passed the same couple of days, so I didn't have to go. I wasn't there because I was with my mom. It worked out for me. It always does. Anyway, I had to run into this man at my dad's house. I was there having a good little time, enjoying, laughing with my little friend and my dad. And you know how, like, when you're sitting, like, say I'm sitting this way, and somebody come from behind you, and you, you could kind of just feel somebody's there, so you turn to look, right? So this was me, y'all. I seen this man. Look at my eyes. Y'all know me dragged that eye straight to the front and I just ignored his existence. So now the guy friend who I was talking, who had brought, of course, you know, if you a stranger, you gonna speak because you, he didn't even know who it was. Like when my cousin had told him his name, my guy friend was like, oh, because he know, but he didn't know because he had never seen him before. I was planning on him. Nope. I never want these people to know nothing about my life. So anyway, when he said who he was, my guy friend was like, oh, shit. And he asked me later, like, did you see how I was looking? I was like, no, because I totally didn't want to be looking at him. So I was looking this way. But anyway, they talked or whatever. So my dad was like, when he came in, like, oh, you didn't speak to Amelia. She didn't speak to me. And didn't and wasn't okay and don't care that you didn't speak to me let's keep it this way so he sat there for a minute he went up and got up and did whatever and i could tell you my conversation with my dad blah 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 it was awkward like you could feel the tension in the room because mind you like i said i had not seen this man for five years don't want to see you don't care to see you don't be in my comments like oh well, what if they pass away i'm so sorry that's so sad <laughs> Anyway, um, it was not, I mean, I, I never, so I always would be like, well, what happened if you see this person? And I was like, I don't really have like no hate towards him, but I'm also like, I'm never messing with you. I don't trust you. Like you did some grimy shit for no reason at all. Can't say that about the other cousin. Like I ain't saying it was right, but I get her more than him. Like never did nothing to you. You was on some bullshit. I don't trust you. We don't trust these because we don't. Okay. So after we left, me and the guy friend was kind of, you know, talking about it. And he was like, that was so awkward. It was this, it was that. And then I was like, okay, but if you was me, based on the stuff that I gave you, would you not have did the same thing and like just ignored this? He was like, I probably would, but that's like crazy. And I'm like, is it though? This is just the new normal. It's sad that it has to be this way, but this is just what it is. So I wanted to catch y'all up on that because again, if you've been around for a while, you girl yes anyway moving on i'm about to eat something because it's 306 now so i've been almost talking to y'all for 10 minutes i'm about to eat and then i'm gonna clean and then i'm gonna get to these samples because we gotta put in i need to like when i tell y'all i'm about to order so much stuff i need to decide like what i'm gonna do and what and have it together because my manufacturer is in china so right i have by the time i submit this to her which will be later on the night by the time she get the invoice back to me, it's probably going to be tomorrow because actually she probably will give it to me later on tonight. But like, let's say three or four in the morning, I'm going to be asleep. So the communication be a little lag, which is why I need to hurry up and do it today because it takes a couple of days to get the ball rolling because of the time difference. She lit, 
Your money too. Like, like damn, she in her mood. No friends, I don't the face. Saying they love me, but one in my place. Step in the party, I'm looking the baddest. So the paparazzi in my face. Pretty, but I came from the gutter. Said I'd be lit by the end of the summer. And I'm proud that I'm still getting bigger. Going viral is getting them sicker. Like what? Let's keep it a buck. Too boring, I'm stuck in a rut. Let me get me wrong when I hop at the truck. Pretty like Lauren with a big butt, yeah. Pretty face and a waist all gone. And I'm making them way hold on. And I'm making them way hold on. Okay, y'all, everything is clean. So it is time to do some work, y'all. It is six o'clock. Ah, I got nine hours of sleep. Left. Why is these lights not white? Do y'all remember? This? I just remember literally in the last vlog we did this. Do they change? I'm sorry, because they threw me off. Like, what the hell? I don't even know. Yeah, they all say warm white. Why? Why? Daylight. Yeah, that's the right ones. So let me make sure I they they all these, huh? No, that so then they all mix match. If everybody would just go to daylight, would be great. Cause I don't know which one is which. I guess this is that one. Okay, why do they change though? So every time I turn my light off, it's gonna change. I don't like that. Anyway, y'all. Um. um I cleaned up. I need to do is I need to do my clothes. So I'm about to start talking about that because I kind of think I got an idea what I want to do. But I definitely need to write that down. Um, I'm over here talking about I'm tired, but I wanted to tell y'all I did get nine hours of sleep last night. Even though I didn't go to bed till like one something, but like soon as my head hit the pillow, it was that type of love that didn't even have time to turn no TV on or nothing. Yes, love that for me. So anyway, I have some Amazon stuff that. I can't say nothing for me because actually one thing for me and I'm excited, but y'all, let's talk about this product right here that Chelsea and Kayla Lachey recommended this. It was funny because I think Kayla Lachey said it first and then Chelsea followed soon after like she texted me to get this. This is the, and I know I'm going to say it wrong, We Way Pet Shampoo, $32. Baby, the only people that's getting $30 on some hair supplies is supposed to be me. But you so stank. So this, Yum needs a bath. And he needed it before Friday because I'm having a sleepover. Um, another thing that I realized I probably needed, because I would watch y'all, I treated Yum like a black child, okay? He getting a warm bath with a warm rag, but he's a dog. So my mama had something like this. Oh, this is so cute. Um, y'all, I got all three of these things, right, for $10. I love Amazon. So this, oh my God, look at the little face on it. You put soap, so I would put like the weed or the weight or whatever, the soap in here, and you scrub him with it. This is so cute. What I smell it for. And so, you know, like as you're scrubbing, the soap is dispensing. Now, these all came together. This is kind of the same, but it doesn't, this is a good scrubber. Like this, I feel like is more... The bristles are harder than this one, but you can put the soap in here. And what is this one? Oh my God, y'all, this is a panda. Is this a... Okay, they all have different bristles. I like the way... So, fun fact, this one is cute, but this one I feel like ain't gonna be heavy duty enough for him. It's too flimsy. These two feel good, and I feel like the panda feels the best. Can I put soap in the panda? It looks like he comes apart. Maybe he doesn't. Damn it. Of course. Oh. I'm upset about that. No, because ain't no holes in here. I'm upset because this looks like this would really scrub the best. But I guess I got all three of these for $10. So I'm not mad about that. Let me smell this dog on soap because I'm trying to tell you. $32 for dog shampoo. I think the most I've ever spent for shampoo for him. $10 or so, maybe $15. But that's when I was getting it. Let's say at PetSmart, then I ain't gonna hold y'all. I started getting it at like TJ Maxx, Marshalls, Home Goods. $32. This is human. 16 fluid ounces. But I guess it will last probably a very long time. And it's not like I'm not gonna get him groomed again. It's just like when he threw up, it's like he stinks. Like he needs a bath. I don't have time to be trying to um schedule no groomer. I know I could have. Y'all, my life been hectic. Anyway, let me see. It says, do you smell that? Ah! Time to give your fur baby a bath with his gentle wash that will cleanse, hydrate, and leave your pet shiny and soft. 
formulated with aloe vera, vegetable protein, and rabutine seed oil. This balsam wash will keep your BFF's coat in perfect condition. This is the only time it's okay to real to wear real fur, but watch out for the paparazzi, girl. Brush your fur, baby, before you shampoo. Okay, and massage into very wet coat. Rinse well and towel dry. Look, my baby better smell good. I need you to keep him smelling good because, baby, he be stank. I got, oh, my God, you can smell it through the thing. It don't smell all that great. I thought this was going to smell like got dogs on Baccarat or something. Anyway, this is stuff for young. We're probably going to do this tomorrow. Yeah, probably because I'm not doing it tonight. First of all, I still have to work. And I think I want to take a bath tonight because today was leg day and it was a hard one. So y'all know about all that stuff, like that bath stuff. I think I want to run a bath tonight. Now, this is for me. I bought some new markers. Because y'all know I got into my adult coloring phase. And the markers that I had, first of all, I got them from Michael's on a whim. And it's only, y'all, I think it's like 10 of them. It's not that many of them. And I need, I need a selection of colors. Stop playing with me. So I bought these markers that like this black lady, she actually creates her own coloring book. And I want to order one from her. I think it's like Coco Illustrations. This is what she used. So I was like, okay. And as y'all can see, it's a lot of them. I think I got the 120 pack. So it's way more than like the little five I have over there. I thought they came in the case where they sat up. Cause these is not, they just in this bag, but whatever. Yeah, I thought you were supposed to sit up. It's fine though. Um, they're the Cali Art brand, just in case anyone, uh, you know, was, you know, questioning that, wondering that. And they have dual tips. So we have like a broad tip. Oh, I smell it. And then a fine tip. I want to color right now, but no ma'am. No ma'am. You're not going to be able to color right now. Let me see what I ordered because it don't tell you nothing. That's the thing about them Amazon brands. Like, they ain't going to give you nothing. No type of... You got the stuff in the little case. They say Cali Art and that's all they could do for you. No description of nothing. Nothing. So, yeah, this is actually a hundred colors or so they say. I'm not going to count them. So, if y'all got over on me, you just did. But I could have sworn it came with a... like, You know, like how at the bottom of the bag they will have like something where it actually has the marker sit in so they can stand straight up. Because, no, these are just... But I can't wait to use them. I don't know when I'm going to have time to use them. Because, baby, I have to work, <laughs> edit every day, still do my daily day-to-day -day things. And then um, I need to get ready for this sleepover and go get stuff for that. Oh, let me be quiet. I can't say too much because I don't know when this is... Yeah, we'll talk more about that as the days come. Um, but, yeah, so let me get started on these. I want to go... It's really this one pair of leggings that I'm focused on right now. So if y'all remember what I have on with the um the really high waistband, these are my favorite. I want these in all the colors of the rainbow. These are the purpose legging. Okay, they are very purposeful. First of all, waistband on fleek. Y'all see how this waistband is? The way that I create my stuff is. The bras come just long enough and the leggings come just high enough where really there's barely any midriff showing because this is for a curvier girl. We want to be cute. We want stuff to be fashionable and, you know, show off our little frame, but we don't need too much. We, we still need some coverage. We need some coverage. So even with the bras, like this is one of my strappy bras. You got some straps. You got a little cute peekaboo, but we cannot be doing too much, baby, because we need some coverage. We need coverage for that back. All right. So anyway, back to the purpose leggings. They're my fave. They go all the way down. They don't have pockets or anything. Really, this waistband is just everything. And they're very soft, very extremely stretchy, like amazing. But then we have the potential leggings, which I only dropped under the name Highest once. If y'all been shopping with me for a while and you remember it used to be Bash Fit, I did it. I did the uh, potential, well, they weren't called the potential leggings then, but I did these leggings a few times with Bash Fit, but with Highest only once. Um, they have a drawstring, which I may nix. I don't know, but then I, they have pockets. My issue with those leggings is this waistband, right? So the um, first time I made them, the waistband is like, I'm about to show y'all, but it's real thick. And it's kind of 
I feel like it's a little uncomfortable to me, but people have said they like them better because then I did make some with a little thin one and that's what I need to go play around with. So actually, let me go put them on so y'all can see. Oh, this looks so good together though. So y'all remember uh, Potential? She has the, the pockets on the side and then the drawstring, which I like because it's cute, but she will get lost because there's no things on the end. But you don't need these bands. Like I don't, I feel like it's just like for aesthetic purposes. Cause honestly, it doesn't feel, yeah, it doesn't, it's just for aesthetics. Like this ain't tightening nothing. So you don't need it. Um, I'm trying to understand. So let me tell y'all what keeps your leggings up. This is what keeps you. So these are again the um purpose leggings. There is a tiny elastic band. If you do like this, so this is the width of that band. Without this band, those leggings will slide. That's what it is. Um, I, if you bought the flare leggings and they had like a little V design, right? Because of that V design, we couldn't put the band in there all around and that's why it would fold over and I couldn't do it, like I hated it. So, that little elastic band is what keeps the leggings there. So this has that, but it's freaking huge. Actually, no, we took it out. There's no band in here. Yes, it is. This whole thing is the elastic band. All right, so these are the same leggings. But there was the Bash Fit brand. And where the elastic, now these had drawstrings, but you see the little holes for them, they came out. Um, see the pockets on the side, same leggings. Even where the logo is, it's the same. It's just a different one, sorry. Can y'all see that? All right, okay. So, said elastic band is here. You see how I can put my hands and squeeze? It doesn't take up the entire, where that seam is like these do, which is wild to me because it doesn't, this, this is that band, hold on. I can't, maybe I can't feel it cause they're on. So, I got the gray ones. And yeah, no, this whole thing is a band. See, yeah, no, I can't feel it cause I have it on. But without them being on, I can take my fingers and this whole entire thing is an elastic band, which I don't care for because y'all love these. So it's going to be too late for me to ask feedback because I need to kind of make this decision now. And again, I'm dazed out. Actually, I think I'm about to jump on Instagram real quick. Um, Boom. So I don't like it because this band is here and it's constrictive which it does suck you in but because of that it if you have lower belly like me it kind of pushes it out just a little bit like it's not nothing extreme i don't feel like because my stomach is gonna be there like it's there it's there in the purpose leggings it's just i feel like not accentu accentuated but let me take these off and put the other ones on because i remember i used to love to wear these to boxing class because even though the purpose ones ain't gonna go nowhere <laughs> because the elastic band is so big you boy you good like you Gucci and the reason I said boxing is because it was like a hit boxing style so in between punching we did a lot of jumping up and down and baby no you gotta have the right bra on and everything because unless you want to be spilling out all over the place uh uh I don't have time for that so my only thing is after a while i feel like this gets a little uncomfortable because it is compressive but people also tend to like that because it's pushing you in but i'm going to put the bash fit ones on to try to compare and contrast this is the thing i don't know why i'm overthinking this because it's not like y'all bought these and complained about them I'm so thankful. Like, I don't really make a product where it's like, this is the issue. We don't do this ever again. So it'll be fine. But I'm just trying to, like, perfect it, if, you know, if I say so. Um, now, those flare leggings, nobody really said anything until I brought it up about how they did kind of shift, which I knew because I realized, oh, it doesn't have the elastic band. 
And I'm sorry about that. That's my bad. So we did those over and we just can't have the crisscross. So those will be fine. But again, I just want to make sure that I'm putting out stuff that I want to wear and I'm going to wear because I take my gym clothes very seriously. It is not game. A question. Do you remember these with the drawstring? Yes. Okay. Um. So the potential leggings have that small waistband, right? The little one. But you remember these yes. had that real thick one. No, I like the highest when it's in the back. You didn't like these? No. Why? Because this was too thick? What was it about it? That's what I'm trying to see. Because the people wanted these. I, what? I like when you ain't got nothing like the highest you had on the other day and just highest in the Yes, day. you're talking about these that I had on today. Yeah. But my question is, was it something that, I understand those are your favorite, they're my favorite too, but was it anything about these that you really just didn't no, like? No, Okay, because... All right, so I'll do these again, but I don't, this I feel like is a little uncomfortable because it's so thick, but some people really liked it because it's kind of compressive. So I guess we'll, I'll just bring them back, but I was asking you that. How you feel what, about what's it? What's your colors? I don't know, y'all. I think we need to go back with the smaller waistband. I do now, and I know these don't have the strings, but just imagine if they was there. But I just feel like that larger one is a little bit just like uncomfortable to be honest with you. So like these, and it's still like um a way bigger one than um the purpose. The purpose is I think by exact measurements two centimeters, and I think this is five. Matter of fact, I can I ain't gonna do that with y'all, but I'm pretty sure this is five, and I remember like doubling up for ten for those. But this is fine. Like you, it doesn't. I feel like it doesn't do it as much because it's not like this whole thing. Does that make sense? I'm gonna keep these on for the rest of the night to test my theory. But girl, these are looking kind of good actually. I did a poll on um on Instagram. Actually, I have to take these off. I'm gonna put them back on. But uh, these, the flare leggings that I showed y'all before is a different material which allows me to do more colors. But this material is a little shiny. So I'm trying to think about how I feel about that. Cause it's not much different like in feel, but I want more colors. You see what I'm saying? But not if the colors gonna look a little off to me. Okay, do not see, look, do not look at this middle seam. Cause I freaking hate a middle seam. Um, I guess we can do some in this. These actually don't look that bad. I feel like the other material is just a tiny bit stretchier just a tiny bit definitely eh, tiny bit this is fine but it's so many colors though so maybe we'll leave the flare um sorry <laughs> maybe we'll leave the flare in this material and i actually really like this color it's like a wine slash chocolate this is beautiful i need to check the inseam on this but let me show y'all y'all seen this before but just in case you didn't see these let me show you okay can y'all see <laughs> It doesn't matter because you can't give me any feedback in time. It's a little sheen, just a little bit, but it's fine. Um, look at the freaking, I'm pretty sure this is a 33. I think I might, if I do 34, I am going to be dragging it, but I'm trying to, you know, be considerate of my tall girls. Like, I'm 5'5". Five five, so I'm really trying, I want everybody to be able to have flare leggings, but... To be honest with y'all, like I'm not gonna get two different sizes. Like some is gonna be uh, inseam a 34, and then some, let's say, inseam a 35 or whatever. Cause I have other stuff I need to do, and like I just can't be that specific right now. But I love these on me. I just feel like for a girl that's 5'10, let me stand on my tippy toes. That ain't even give me. But do you see? Like it's, this is still like okay. I like it just like this. Like I do like kind of like it dragging a little bit. But like I told y'all before, the ones I made before was a 32 inseam, I think. And it was okay for me. Like if it was any shorter, I wouldn't want it. But if you was any taller than me, it wasn't going it was gonna be a dub. But I really do like this besides that dog on middle seam. I don't know why she did that to me. But yeah, the colors for this fabric go stupid. It's just a little sheeny to me. I hate when the kitchen is absolutely gorgeous and clean and it looks like I have my life together. Like y'all, this kitchen is immaculate. And then I gotta mess it up cause I gotta cook, but we definitely cooking. 
because the eating out is being kept to a minimum. I don't know if I told y'all me and Chelsea scheduled another oyster happy hour this week. And besides that, oh, in a anyway, yeah, I'm trying to keep it to a minimum. So right now, it's really only twice this week. But then I got some stuff coming up this weekend. Y'all, it's really hard not to eat out when you're like being social and you out and about. But again, I, the only thing that's helping me is I'm not eating enough times for it to matter like my weight has not changed which is good and bad i haven't gained any more but i also ain't lost no more so i'm kind of just stalling but to be honest with y'all even though i really was like in the groove and i would like to continue to see the scale go down i'm having a great time and as long as i ain't 230 nothing or above look anyway um i'm about to make the gold chunk chicken i made before so i don't even know if i said my point I think I did, yeah, about the kitchen being clean. And then I don't want to mess it up because I got to cook. Yeah, I'm so scared of burning. So just in case you never saw this before, these are chicken thighs. I washed them off, rinsed them off, whatever. I go in with this Trader Joe's gold chewing sauce or whatever. It says Korean fermented red pepper paste. If you don't want to do all of this, Publix already sell it. It's ready to go. I bought that before too. I feel like mine is better, but that's just because mine is probably seasoned more. I use that. I use some of this honey garlic marinade. And then I go in with the Kinder Cowboy Butter Seasoning. And then see, I just take my hands. Um, oh, well, actually, no, I'm going to need a spoon to get this out. I've only used this once before, so I feel like it's a pretty good, it's kind of gooey. I feel like it's a good amount in there. Um, I don't remember like how much I used before. I kind of just look at it and be like, is my chicken colorful enough? Um, so I'm just gonna like mix it on here. I've had a very productive day y'all. I'm about to let this chicken sit for a minute as I get in the bath. Cause the chicken not gonna take that long. You're gonna put it in the air fryer. Y'all know I got rice that go in the microwave and I'm gonna do some veggies that go in the microwave. My dinners are very quick, simple and easy. That is a reason that I really don't see the need to um, Okay, I'm just going to take my finger because this is bullshit. <laughs> I don't see the need to meal prep because the only thing that would need to be prepped literally would be my protein. And half the time I'm eating ground beef, it takes 10 minutes. Or if I'm doing any type of chicken, it goes in the air fryer 10, 15, 20 minutes. Like I could put it in there while I'm doing something else. And then I'm rice. Mac, I always have microwave rice. If I'm having anything else, it'll be a potato, sweet potato fries, or I'll cut up potato, a cut up a potato. And it's basically the same thing. Like I'm gonna put it in the air fryer. It does not take me long to make food. I typically eat the same breakfast, and half the time I don't have a lunch. Like, and let me tell you why. If you're new here, like today, I had a, I ate today right once before. But when I ate, guess what time it was? Three thirty. Yeah, and it was ground beef and rice. So that I had already, like, it was leftovers. I just don't feel the need for me to meal prep when I eat. Extremely simple. Like, this is actually a lot for me. Because if I'm, my protein, like, if it's ground beef, you're going to put it in the dog on frying pan with some seasoning. And if I eat anything else, it's technically, like, the the chicken that I get from Publix has already got the marinades and the seasoning on it. You're just going to put it in the air fryer. Me having to put this paste and these seasonings on it is a lot for me and i'm not saying it's a lot keyword a lot for me because i very very simple very simple and the reason i eat so simple ooh, this smells so good it smells so garlicky the reason i eat so simple is really because i do eat out typically a few times a week so anything that i want like let's just say i'm in the mood for something that causes a little bit more effort you know because I haven't had salmon in the wrong. I don't know why. That's another thing I was eating. But they go in the air fryer. Anything that just causes a little bit more effort, I just eat that out. So, like, I don't fry foods in my house. I don't know if y'all know this. Because if I want some fried chicken or whatever, I'll just... That'll be something I eat out. Like, I don't see the need to make that in my house and have to have all these ingredients. Basically, my foods are one ingredient foods. Chicken, rice, veggie. Ground beef, rice, veggie. Or no veggie. Potatoes, eggs, bread... I don't make like meatloaves or pastas like that. And not that I never do because y'all seen me do it before. But it's just not typical for me because that's a good one. If I want some pasta, baby, we just going to go eat it out. Like, not saying I never make it because I do. But typically, that's a lot of ingredients for me and extra work that I just don't want to do. It don't need to. 
Because when I make pasta, it's heavy cream based. You don't need that. You don't need it. So it's just something that's like a rare occurrence. Anyway, this is the last step for the chicken. This kinder seasoning. And I don't know why I'm going in like that. Let's chill out. Because it doesn't, that paste is pretty seasoned enough. Like it didn't need that. And then I'm just going to let this sit. Um, I'm going to put the top on this and let it sit and marinate while I am in the bath. What time is it? It's almost 8 o'clock. It's 7.50. Um, this is going to be a quick bath. It ain't going to be. I usually would sit in there for like an hour or so. Mm -mm, about 25 minutes maybe I'll soak. Start kind of putting together in my phone the list of clothes I want while I'm in there. Um, I'm going to take yum out first. And that'll be my night. It's it's, even though I got a late start, I'm not doing so bad on time. I feel like that's because I didn't edit. Sorry for y'all, but actually the rain told me good, please, because I need to catch up. So um, that's the editing, but the editing be killing it. That every day having to sit down at that computer for like an hour and a half be really like messing up the vibe. Oh, I forgot to print those orders. I literally could do that. I could, I could, I should. <sighs> I got a new drop in white teeth. Hey, I fuck a new bitch in white teeth. Okay, I cop the whip, then wrap it with the shiny palette. My bitch, you does, she $20. Hurry, you know, right now, I'm up on the night out. Ooh, she waking up out two. From Tibet, I'm in Tibet, the niggas are vet. I'm the click commander, she went like a salamander. Green diamonds in my tongue, that's a frozen salad. They're gon' be the freezing. Check my color palette, white like a bunny web. You know, I keep some care when she the bitch, like a sandwich to go. She said, No, I'm just burning away my arms and rides and shit. Thanks a lot, my stomach, I have empty on my feet. Make up on my act, just like I'm trying to hide a seat. Y'all know how upset I am that I don't have spicy mayo. Because what? I could have sworn I had spicy mayo. That's how I know I've been deep in my Kinder's bag. Because why ain't no spicy mayo? And does Kinder's have one? Because I need theirs. Anyway, I'm just going to put some of this. What is this? Teriyaki uh, sesame glaze. Because I need a little bit of a little sauce. A little sauce. That was my quick in Well. It wasn't that quick because I'm used to quicker, but I feel like it's a fairly quick little meal, y'all. This chicken is amazing. It's very rare that I eat chicken. Y'all know that. Yes. Okay, y'all. We're going to wrap it on up. Call a night. I have been in touch with the touch with the manufacturer. Everything seems like it's going well. Um, I, I'm gonna sleep. Well, I can't go to sleep until she gives me the okay. She gonna make an invoice and then I'll go to sleep and I'll do a deal with the invoice tomorrow. But as soon as I'm done with her, I'm out of here. It's like 9:30. Had a nice little bath, all that. It was a nice productive day. I'm very happy about it. So, as always, thanks for kicking it with me. I holla.